all my makeup tutorials recently and all the makeup that I wear is just like easy and pretty easy and pretty two eyeshadows a lipstick and a blush that's it so that's what we're doing today um, also lately if you guys haven't noticed like all of my fall makeup tutorials have been like not just makeup but an outfit as well so it's like a whole look I really like that I really like doing like a whole look with it and not just the makeup because just the makeup is kind of boring so that's what we're doing today. Um, if you hear a noise in the background, that is the garbage truck because it's Wednesday and that's when they pick up the garbage in my neighborhood. So. I haven't actually done all my skincare yet. I've already washed my face and put on some toner, but I haven't put on any of my serums or anything. So this is the Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. I just put the whole dropper in my hand. Speaking of this serum and Claire's, I did have a skincare box with Wish Trends. Unfortunately, it is over now. It was for a limited time, um, but you guys can still order all this stuff individually. You just can't get it at the, at the discounted price that was like specifically for that box. Hopefully I'll be able to do another skincare box eventually. Thank you to everyone who purchased. I really, really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. I actually really believe in this brand and all the skincare that they provide and I use it on a daily basis so it's not just some sponsorship. So I really appreciate everyone who bought the box and I really hope you guys enjoy the products as much as I do. Um, so next I'm going to be using the Rich Soothing Serum. This serum is really good for like any breakouts or anything, which I don't have right now. But I did just get my eyebrows done. And every time I get my eyebrows done, it, it like, you know, like it rips open holes in your skin basically. That is just a feeding ground for bacteria, girl. So just as a precaution, I put on the Soothing Serum. Then I'm going to put on the Rich moist soothing cream which basically does the same thing but it's in a daily moisturizer form and then I'm going to take the Claire's everyday sun protector it's a sunscreen and I love the sunscreen you guys know I'm super advocate for this sunscreen because white cast wear I can already see little tiny bumps forming around my eyebrows so hopefully the serum does its job <laughs> okay so now that we've got all of our skincare on we can start on the makeup i always make sure i put on an appropriate primer for today's look we are going matte just like all the fall looks have been for some reason i just really like matte looks in the fall so i'm going to be taking my Too faced primer today um, it's not mattifying, but I never use mattifying primers because they just dry the heck out of my skin. Well, this is moisturizing, but it's not luminizing. It's not going to make my skin like super glowy, but it's still going to keep the moisture locked in and it's still going to help uh, the foundation like stick to my face. So I just concentrate in the center and then just work my way up, girl. Work it out. Work it out. Am I hyper today? I think I'm hyper today. Next, I'm gonna put on my foundation. Of course, I'm using my NARS All Day Luminous, okay? Every day. And I'm taking my MAC 190 brush, which is now green, ever since I painted my face green for Halloween so that I could be Alphaba. Anyone have tips on how to get green out of a MAC brush? Leave them in the comments below, thank you. So EXO just came out with their new album and bitch, I am loving it. Um, I know a lot of people, or at least I saw a few comments of people who don't like tempo and girl, you tripping. Is it their best song? No. But is it their worst song? No. Someone in the comments said that they thought that tempo was worse than Wolf. Wolf is hands down their worst song and I still like it. <laughs> You know what? Something's so bad that it's good. That's what wolf is. And I also just like howling like a wolf. It's fun. But really, they think tempo is worse than wolf. It's not. But my favorite EXO songs are Monster and Call Me Baby. Tempo is like a very R&B pop song. 
and if you're strictly into like pop pop then you're probably a not even gonna like EXO <laughs> because they bring so many R&B elements into their songs and some of their songs are just straight up R&B so they're like they're an R&B pop group next I'm gonna apply my concealer guys I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer lately and I love it am I betraying NARS right now am I cheating on NARS and it actually took me a little while to warm up to it and it is a very high coverage concealer I feel like I wouldn't have liked this concealer in the summertime because summertime was all about you know like that fresh dewy like barely any coverage look and then fall I'm just like Take me up, bitch. So I'm just gonna blend this out and then I'm going to apply powder because I want this look to be matte, like I said. So iZone also debuted within the last week. It took a while for me to warm up to La Vian Rose, but I actually really like that song now and it's always stuck in my head. It's, it, it's always stuck in my head. Please stop. I think my base looks decent enough. And now I'm going to take my Urban Decay spray and get my hair out of the way. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm wearing my real hair today. I didn't even, I didn't even uh, address this. This is, this is my real hair. I straightened it. I forgot to tell you. Next, I'm going to take my Too Faced palette. And guess which color I'm using. Guess which one. Take a wild guess. Yes, this one. So this look that I'm doing is all about the cheeks and the lips. So the eyes are going to be so basic. Like, like there's barely even a point in me telling you what I'm doing on my eyes. So you can get any peachy color. And I'm just putting that in the crease. And then bringing it down to the lid. Side note, I know you guys have been waiting for my Kaja review to come. And my package from Mimi Box recently came. I got it today. If I have time after this, I might do swatches of the concealers because uh, they sent me like all of the dark shades of concealer. Um, definitely gonna do swatches of that and anything else that's in the box. You guys can let me know if you want me to review more stuff. It's just that I have to like buy it. And then by next week, hopefully both of my Yes Style orders will come in. And so I will be doing the um, the next Black Girl Tries a Korean Makeup tutorial. And I'll also be doing a fall clothing haul. Cause I haven't done one of those in a really long time. And I know you guys have been asking for it. At this point, I watch more Korean makeup tutorials than I do makeup tutorials in English. <laughs> That's what I've been doing lately is more of a like a Korean style of makeup. I have very like soft, cute kind of features. So the softer look looks nicer on me. So now I'm going to take a peach tart on a flat brush and I'm just going to use this to like define my eyes. So I'm using it on the outer corners of the eyes. I'm going right by the lash line and just brushing in so since we reached our goal of 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year my new goal for the next two months is to have YouTube be my full-time job because right now I am still working my other job by the end of the year I want to have enough money saved up that I can quit my job and do YouTube full-time so that I can go from making like one or two videos a week to doing like three or four even if I want to. So if you guys want to like and share this video, please do! So that your girl can get some cash flow, honey, okay? Don't miss up my tempo, don't miss up my tempo. Oh. Now for the fun part. This is Flesh 3 from Pat McGrath. That's right, your girl's fancy now. Not only am I applying this on my lips, I'm applying it on my cheeks as well, okay? So literally, I just go like that. The Pat McGrath lipsticks are so creamy. And then I'm just taking my fingers and blending. I want the blush to really be highlighted. And then of course, we're gonna apply it on the lips. What I like to do is just start applying it in the center and then blend it out. 
So I'm getting like a feathered look instead of just really precise lines on the lips. And I'm taking this buxom liner called Cloak and Dagger. So it has a pencil side and a brush side to it. I like to use this to define the lip line a little bit. And then I feather it with the brush. And then lastly, I'm going to highlight and contour. I'm gonna take my contour palette from NYX like I always do on my MAC brush. This is a 140S. And start with the chin to create that chiseled look, girl. I sweep it up into the hairline. Go right under the lips to create that nice plump little shadow like that. <laughs> and to contour the nose. Then I'm going to take Light Scapade from MAC and just put a very light dusting of highlighter on very, very lightly. I'll take this off and replace it with my hat. So this is the final look, guys. I hope you like it. This is like my kind of my take on the dry rose look for the fall time. This is my new favorite everyday look. I wear this Pat McGrath lipstick every day. You guys don't understand how much I love this lipstick. If you guys like this look, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more looks like this and more weirdness. But if you want true weirdness, the true depths, of my strangeness, you're gonna have to follow me on Instagram, okay? That's where all the magic happens, on my Instagram story. And I'm there every single day, unlike here, where I'm only here like once a week. My trifling ass only here once a week. Mm. But if you wanna follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. The link will be in the description box below. You know where it is. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. I love ya so, 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 so much.